Our next guest is a beloved judge on Hallmark Channel's Christmas cookie matchup, and today he is making a skillet shrimp dinner for us that is second to none, just like he is. Please welcome back our good friend Chadwick Boyd. Welcome back, Chadwick. Big hug. Big hug. Ah, virtual hug from across yes. the counter. I'm so happy to have you back in our kitchen. I'm thrilled to be here, kicking off season nine. Can you believe it? Just bringing some really good food together, and uh, We've got you uh, doing some work. That's right. You have me set up here. I don't want to be left out because I'm usually joining you in the kitchen. So I'm going to be chopping some some of the things that we will be garnishing our dish with uh, when you finish making it. So we're going to make a millet shrimp one skillet dinner tonight. So or today, I should say this morning. What is millet for people at home who don't know what millet is, don't know the beauty of millet? Millet is a wonderful grain. It's actually a seed. And you would find it in the grocery store along with farro and buckwheat and all the other grains. But you know what? It's really underrated. People don't know what to do with it. So we're going to change that today and make a very simple skillet meal. And it's very good for you. It's very good for you. Six grams of protein in one cooked cup. And the other benefit to this, which is kind of like my secret for a dinner party, it's gluten free. Oh my So you God. don't have to tell anybody about that. And for my mother and other relatives who are gluten free, like everybody gets included. And it's really delicious. And I do know that if you toast it first, yeah. you actually enhance the flavor. So this is the first step with uh, millet. We've got uh, one cup. And you just want to put it in a large skillet and turn it on to uh, medium high heat. Actually, I skipped a step. Let's go back for a second. Okay. You want to wash this first. Very you want to well. rinse it just to get all of the debris off. And so when we put it in the hot pan, steam is going to come up from it because it's going to release the water and then it's going to caramelize. It takes about eight to 10 minutes, but you can see how beautiful and delicious that is. And you can and then, smell the nuttiness. Yeah. And there's a little sweetness in there too. So I've got a half a cup of sweet onion. Okay. Four cloves of garlic that I've just finely cut up. Let me just there use my fingers there. We have some olive oil there. in there? Or is it just dry? It's just dry. Okay. And then add two cups of chicken broth. Nice. You can make this all veg if you'd like. You can use vegetable broth. And then we're gonna set it and forget it for just about like 20 that. minutes like that. And when it's done, it looks fluffy and delicious like this. It really does get so fluffy. Where, where like a farro or quinoa or barley buckwheat doesn't get as fluffy as this. This is almost the consistency of, I mean, mashed potato. Absolutely. Can I, does that make sense to say that? Yeah, and yeah. you can actually add another cup of liquid here and it's like a risotto. It's really delicious. So you have lots of flexibility with this. It's very inexpensive. It actually is the least expensive grain that you can find in the grocery well, store. Well, that is good to know. I love it. And probably one of the best ones for you, to be honest. <laughs> We're going to womp this up, though. Let's womp it up. So it is kind of what? Uh, almost fall and a little bit of late summer, right? We're in so between. We've got some really good, good veg here. I love sugar snap peas. Me too. So I've got uh, on medium high heat some olive oil. Okay. I'm going to throw the sugar snaps in here. Now, if you're not a fan of sugar snaps, you can use snow peas, you know, something, a green bean would be really nice. Okay. And corn, two cups of corn. I love to use fresh corn, but you can use frozen too, like what we have here. And in four minutes, you just want to char this and get it, re get it a nice color. Uh, let me get my little tongs here. And so look at how quickly this tossed. comes together. Yeah, and look how colorful with mm. avocado and uh, the cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes, right? I know you've been doing a lot of cooking over the last few months oh as I've goodness. been following you on all your social media. And uh, at those lamb chops that you made the other <laughs> night, man, those were looking really great. <laughs> Thank you. I always love it when Chadwick comments on the food I'm making. I always feel like, oh my gosh, I'm doing the right thing. Chadwick likes it. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to go right through, uh, through the uh, Instagram there. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna season this, and this then becomes really super simple. That's what I promised, right? A simple skillet supper. So we're gonna add shrimp. Okay. We wanna season our shrimp on both sides. This is one pound. You wanna shell it and devein it. And what is the key to making sure the shrimp doesn't turn out like um, chewy like erasers? You don't <laughs> overcook it. Literally, this is gonna take about one and a half minutes. Oh, that's I'm quick. flip this over. You have Just been to get cooking both sides. You've been cooking with your family for years, Chadwick. It is, I mean, honestly. That's how I learned to cook. I know. 
You've been since you were a little boy. We've seen all those photos. I yes, love that. that. I know it's a family tradition. That That's right. right. And I know, by the way, that this recipe is one that you actually created for one of your dear friends. So for a baby my, shower, right? My niece, actually, my, um, before she was born for my sister's baby shower, I created this dish for that. Hmm. I always love a memory and a story behind a dish, right? It's wonderful to have something that's simple to make, but something that's special that you can share and tell. Um, and my beautiful niece is now almost six years old, Ishri. Aww. She's wonderful. She's so, so smart. She just went back to school and uh, she's speaking Mandarin and oh, wow. just doing all kinds of wonderful things. Oh, I love to hear that. So we're going to turn this up just a little bit more. And Debbie, we're going to watch this turn orange pink really, okay. really fast. And it's gonna take a minute and a half. And look at that. And then it comes out like this. And we're gonna just build our dish. And okay. put this on top oh, of the millet. Now, I love cumin and coriander. They're very, very fragrant. So we're going to finish this off with a one and a half teaspoons of ground nice. cumin. And I'm and finishing some up. And heat, some fresh jalapeno. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, that's jalapeno? Yes. Woo! And. What are you doing to me, Chadwick? <laughs> <laughs> and some fresh lime juice. And you know what's great? Mm. Because the avocado will cut some of that heat from the, from the jalapeno. Yes, so if you want to pass that oh, to yes. me. Oh yes, stand by, I'm gonna put this. it here. There we go. There you go, now you can pick it up. <laughs> So while you serve that up, my sweet friend, I'm gonna let everyone at home know that they can get more of your stunning <laughs> recipes on your website, chadwickboydlifestyle.com. And as always, you can grab this terrific recipe at hallmarkchannel.com. Mm, I'm ready.